Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to use Python to train an emotion detection model to detect three types of emotion, happy, neutral, and lastly, sad. Okay, so now allow me to explain how the algorithm behind emotion detection works. So first, the algorithm needs to detect a face, whether a face exists or not. So after detecting a face exists, it will actually box out the boundary of the face and feed the face image into the emotion detection model. So the emotion detection model is trained to recognize the emotion based on the image that is fed inside. So based on this scenario, because I'm smiling, it actually detected that there's 80% chance that I'm happy. So the algorithm is as simple as that. Okay, so in order for me to execute the algorithm that I explained in the previous slide, I use two types of models in the algorithm. So first, I use a SSD pre-trained face detection model for me to detect the face in the image. And next, I train, I train a binary classifier using mobile net version 2 with three different data sets. First, happy, next, neutral, and lastly, set. So with this trained model, I'm able to do the emotion detection over here. Okay, so for today's tutorial, I will guide you through the steps to deploy an emotion detection model. So there are three steps in total. First, we need to create our own custom data set. Next, we need to train the emotion classifier based on the data set that has been created. And lastly, we need to test and deploy the final model. Okay, so before you proceed, there are some prerequisites that you should have. So first, you should have Anaconda and Python 3.7 installed. Next, you need to have four packages installed. First is OpenCV, second TensorFlow, thirdly NumPy, and lastly Delete Library. And next, you need to go to my GitHub repository to download my code. So it's very simple. You just you copy and paste this link over here. And just press this button and you are able to download my code. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to create your own data set. So in order to do this, you need to open up the create dataset.py file. So basically, this program is very simple. There's three buttons that you need to press. First is H. So when you press H, uh, it will save your face as happy. Okay, next N will save your face as neutral. And lastly, S will save your face as set. So for this particular instance, my face is neutral. So I need to press N. Then you will save my face as neutral data set. So allow me to demonstrate in the program itself. Okay, so after opening up your favorite IDE over here, so what you do is to drag and drop the create data set.py file over here and create your own data set. So just to let you see, so under my data set folder, currently for my neutral folder is empty. So let's create some neutral face data set. So just run the program. Okay, so once the program is run, um, just need to maintain your face as neutral and press the button N to save the image. So let's try it out. So I actually click three times. You can see over here, neutral, neutral, neutral. So as you can see, in my folder over here, it will save neutral three times. So you can open up to see my beautiful face. Nice, okay. So with this, um, you need to create your own data set, preferably over 100 images in each folder in order to train a robust model. Okay, so after you have created your own custom data set, now is the time to train your own emotion detector. So to run this program is very simple. You just need to click. You just need to open up the train emotion underscore detector.py and press run. So this training process will take about 20 to 20 minutes depending on how powerful your laptop is. So you just need to let it run. And by the end of this, this program you will just show completed. So once you see the message completed, it means that your model has 
finish its training. Okay, so now we will move on to deploying your model. Okay, so after you have trained your model, open up this detect underscore emotion underscore video dot py file to test and deploy your model. So to run this model, it's very simple. You just need to click run file and wait for the window to appear. So you can see the window has appeared. So I'm a very neutral. So we are small. You become happy. We are sad. You become sad. So if I give some weird face, like you will change accordingly to the model prediction. So with this, I have come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time.